Hi Henry, it's Alan and uh, this is going to be a short little video for you with instructions for you to get into your website to make changes. So first off we're going to get into, uh, just go directly to your site, so uh, we'll put your web address in here. And there is the page that your clients will see. What we'll do up here, we'll open up a new tab and we'll go to the same address. The difference on this one is we put a forward slash WP dash admin. And this will bring us to the login page. You will have already received a username and password in an email that I've sent to you. So once you put those details in here, click the remember me button and then that will save the password to uh, save you having to remember it and then go straight into login. This now is the back end of your website. If we look at the client page and then go back to the, this is the home page, obviously the front page. And if we go to the left hand side, there's a link that says pages. So we'll click on that. In that list is a list of all the pages on the website and there's one listed home page front page we click into edit doesn't look like there's much there but it actually is this box here with visual editor is the top part of the screen that the clients see this box visual editor is the next block of text on the screen. So if we just have a look, so if you imagine that's the top part of the screen and this is the bottom part of the screen. If I go to the completed page, this top part here is what's doing the photo changing and Cairns, Ear, Nose and Throat Center. And the tabs that we worked so effortlessly on, all these tabs are located in this second box. So if I click into the edit, if we wanted to change something in there, Here's the text, but there's also the code, and it's quite difficult to know what's changeable and what's not. So if I up here on the right side, I click onto visual. This is how the text is actually set out. So this particular line here is in bold, then there's a space, and then there's the normal normal text with an active link going to read more. So that's the first tab, and that tab is actually labeled about us. You can change the text in these areas, no problem, but ensuring that you don't change anything that's inside these brackets because that will mess up the tabs. Here's the Contact Us tab. To locate us with the pictures. Once you've made the changes in there, if you're happy with them, just click back into the text link up here. Click the mouse in and just make a space. And then you can click Done. That is just a peculiarity of the software, and um, if it's not done, the tabs just will look rather strange. Now that we've made those changes in that tab, the last thing is to click the update down here on the right hand side, and that will make these changes permanent. So that's that page done. Now, let's say, for example, you go into a different page on your client side, and we go into, let's have a look at our team. There's the picture of you, and we click into the bio about you. Here's all the text and the photo. Now, if we go into the edit side, go back to all pages, and find otolaryngologist Dr. Henry Glennie. If you look at the top address, that everything after the forward slash is the name of the page you are looking for. If I go back to the edit, otolaryngologist Dr. Henry Glennie and click into edit. Now, we've got two columns. If we look at the completed page, there's column one, there's column two. Go back to the edit side. This box represents column one and this box represents column two. If we click into edit, there's the text. Now, let's say, for example, we wanted to change the text to a different color. Just highlight what we want to do, click into the A, drop it down and make it red. There it is. Then click Done, Update.
and then go up to the completed page, hit the refresh button. Click the refresh. And there it is. All the text has been changed to red. Simple. We go back, just change it back, edit. Highlight the text that we've got red. Choose no color. Click done. Update. Back to the completed page. Refresh. And the text is back. If you want to change the photograph, that's in column two. Click into it. Click column two. And there's the picture. If you want to change the picture, just click on it. Click delete. The picture's gone. If you want to add a new picture, add media. Click on that button. All the pictures here are actually images that are saved on the server. If you if there's an image in there that you that image that you want to add that's not on the server, you just click Upload Files and select it from your computer. So wherever it is on your computer, click on it, click Open, and then that will upload to the server. Then you will find that new photograph in Media Library. And you click on the image and insert it into the page. And it's as simple as that. So that's basically a uh, quick intro on how to make some simple changes to the pages. If there's any problems, just shoot me an email.